This is going to be a fun run. No competition. You can walk, you can run, but the whole idea is to have fun. What is Vintage Sound doing down here today? So I'm uh, broadcasting till pretty much all day, and I brought the golf cart down, and I'm going to be driving to different parks. Like I didn't know you can drive on the on the trail and, and go to Muster Park, and then you can go to Weed Park. So we'll be here all day, and then tonight we have the blues concert with three bands, and uh, it's going to be a really good time. I hope everybody comes out. I'm glad that you guys are here. This is great. You and I make a path. Do you have any tips or advice for the kids that come down here? Yeah, I think just come on down. So there's a lot of great activities for kids to do. So hopefully the weather warms up a little bit, but all along the riverfront here, there's all kinds of great things for kids to do. So come on down and have some fun. Is there a club that people can be a part of to run after today? Yes, the Muscatine Running Friends, I'm wearing their shirt, um, meets at the Y and it's free. It doesn't cost anything. We meet at the Y on Wednesdays at 5, Saturdays and Sundays at 8 a.m. And um, and we just go as far as people want or it does all ability levels and all age groups are welcome. It's wonderful. It's a great way to meet different people and like she said, there's all different ages, all different paces. So if you think that you're too slow, you're wrong. Everybody, we all run together, so it's wonderful. You should join us. All right, thank you. Okay. Go. What do you, why did you guys plan this event? Way back, many, uh, many years ago, there were several of us thought about how wonderful our trails were and how very few people actually got to walk on them. So we wanted to make sure that it was the trails were available with our golf carts and with some assistance and to have a wide open free to the public event. Is there any thing you would like the community to know about this? People who want to, who weren't able to make it down? Well, we just like to remind everybody that it was free. Everything down here is free. Thanks to our great sponsors. We had a ton of sponsors and everybody stepped up to make this happen. I remember when Do you have any last words or advice for the um, community? Well, I think the Healthy Living Festival is awesome because it's not just about, uh, you know, getting out there and exercising or eating all the right stuff. It's about how to incorporate all of those things in an easy way into your life. And so coming out to the farmer's market hits a lot of those points. You get to walk around, you're buying fresh, healthy things. And it's also there at the farmer's market like a community, which is so important too. What are things that you would like people who weren't able to make it down or people in the community to know about this and other things? Well, this is the very first health fair ever scheduled in Muscatine and we want this to be the foundation we want to grow from this so hopefully next year will be a little bit bigger and we'll learn from the things that we do or don't do this year and we'll make it even better next year and even better the year after that so so when you see everybody here at the healthy festival and you see a bunch of smiles do you feel really passionate about like being able to like show people a healthy living style absolutely and I tell you I'm a person who was never very healthy well for I mean, when I was younger, I was, but then I became an old man, and, and I stopped doing the things that make you healthy. And two years ago, I always tell this story, I had a heart attack shoveling snow. And when I was in my rehabilitation from that, I learned how to walk. I found out that walking was easy, and walking was fun. And now I walk two to five miles a day, and it's great. And I want everybody else to get out there and feel that same 
passion for getting healthy. And you know, I eat better. I've lost 50 pounds. I'm, I feel great. And I think everybody should uh, just enjoy all that we have to offer. We've got a beautiful river. We've got beautiful trails. We've got beautiful parks. And uh, it's this is all sponsored by an organization called Keep Muscatine Beautiful. And you can be beautiful in a lot of ways. You can be beautiful inside, outside, and in, the, in your community and I think it's fantastic. How do you think this festival benefits other things that happen around Iowa? Well, I think that um, this kind of a festival is not only good so that it can draw attention to healthy living, uh, but it's good for the community too because you get folks here who aren't just from Muscatine, you get folks from around the area. I happen to live in Iowa City myself, but um, I think it's a really great idea to do this. Anytime a community can do something like this, it's good for the community. Anything else you want our community or people who weren't able to make it down know? Well, the, you know, the trail system is beautiful. The riverfront is beautiful. I hope people will come and walk the trails or get somebody to take them down the trail and take a look and learn more about what there is to do. Get involved.